guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to reading to episode 5 of Smile Down the Runway, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Thank you. My eye. Honestly, can I just say this? Like, even though I shipped the crap out of Samara and Shiki, Samara and Coco, they look so cute together. And see, this is hard, and I hate this. Like, why would you do that? Why would you bring another cute girl into the circle of this group of these two? They these two go all in love with each other, mixed business and pleasure. But no. Like, you're kind of screwing me over because she brings Kokoro in, and Kokoro is so adorable as hell. She reminds me of, um, I don't remember her name, but she was one of my personal favorite characters in the show. It's the girl who, um, is in Welcome to the Ballroom, who was partnered with, uh, Westface, like, later on in the series until eventually they went their separate ways. I don't remember her name, but she was a blonde-haired girl. And her color dress yellow. She was so pretty. Shined like a goddamn diamond. And I can with her. She was so precious. She was like that version, that enemy version of Haru. Because like, oh my god, she's just so cute. And I love her so much. It's like a uh, cutie. <laughs> This evening.
central. Well, at first I thought you were a boy, but no, you're a woman. That's so mean to say that to her. Go on, Kokoro. Tell you tell her how you feel. Mm -hmm. Follow your heart and your dreams.
need to get sleep. Why do I feel like her his mom is not telling him something? It's got to be some big secret that we're going to find out later on in the show. And don't let anybody get to you. Be positive. Excuse me? Participation fee. What about the money that you got from Wes's face? No, Samara, it's for your dream. This is your chance and take it. Exactly. Keep your mouth shut. Not really, you just think about it from the heart. True. And I How the hell can you come up with something in an hour? Okay. Mm -hmm.
just don't have it to do. Of course, I mean, imagine how much the fabrics are in New York for mood. Do you want to try again? She's practicing. <laughs> mm -hmm.
Mm -hmm. So you go home and just make something better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, whatever that idea is, we're not going to know until next week. But oh my god, this was such a good episode. So kind of what I'm hoping for next week is since Chiyuki is going to go to Paris on their next three day weekend, please, 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 I beg you for the love of God to an episode in Paris. I mean, I need it. I need it. Please just give it to me because the last time I've watched a show that had an episode or a movie done in Paris, that was Kitty Kitty Pity Girl mode. And that is just good. I need something else. I want to see Paris in this watercolor as art style. It's so pretty and gorgeous. And I think it'll look so nice. It's just like, your, your girl, besides Japan, has always wanted to go to Paris. I've been to New York. It was the best time of my life. And there's only two other places I want to go. It's Paris, France, and Tokyo, Japan. Maybe Australia. But those two. Those are the top two places I want to go, and I'm going to get there. That is my ultimate goal, besides doing everything else that I want to do. But still, that's what I want. This episode was so good. I mean, I hate the fact that we didn't get to see um, Ito's first design for Sarah. So whatever his next design is, it's going to be even greater. And the fact that he got inspired because of Chiyuki, like, I can't. But Kokoro. I feel so bad for her. Like, oh my god. I do not like her manager. Her manager is honestly a bitch. Like, oh god. Like, she's such a precious little thing. Little tall thing like me. But she's so freaking precious and she deserves the world. And I get the fact is that it seems like to the manager, she's lashing out and she's trying to do certain things and, try and stepping away from modeling because she's like, modeling isn't really my thing. And she wants to find something. But from what Ito saw in Kokoro's apartment, she's really obsessed and passionate with designing. I, modeling may not be her thing. She can still do it as like a side job to get some extra money, essentially. But at the end of the day, it's her choice. But it's like, okay, what if you need money for, um, for fabric, for needles, for thread? for um, another sewing machine and let's say you're not getting enough money that side job hustle right there there's where your extra money comes from thinking about Ito with him working with what's his face because of the fact is like yes he didn't have enough um, participation fee money so his sister chipped in and so he can still use the money that he got from working with what's his face and even though he's still working with them he can be able to pay for that for himself and he can give the 5,000 yen back to his sister so that he, you know, his sisters can use that expenses for themselves 
for the house and everything, to pay their bills and everything. I, and the one thing that I loved about Ito so much, he puts his family first ahead of his dreams. But his family is trying to tell him, no, 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 we're okay. Put your dreams ahead of us. Your dreams are going to, what what's, is what's going to make you successful for us to possibly find something better than this and to do something better than this. And I love just, it, it, we're five episodes in and the lessons that they're teaching in this god dang show, I just love. It is so top tier. I mean, oh god, I just love this show so much. This show is so freaking underrated because there's barely a lot of people not even talking about this show because there's all these other shows that are way interesting or um, the fact is it came maybe like way too late down the line and because everybody has so many other shows to watch. But this show is so freaking good and I just wish more people would actually sit down and watch it. And especially if you're someone who likes to learn about fashion and designing and everything, the world of that, of that art. And it is art. It is amazing, phenomenal, beautiful art that is um. Oh, just gorgeous and that needs to be shared with the world and so I just hope a lot of people end up continuing or maybe possibly watching this series but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of Smile Down the Runway if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the Magical Squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 6 bye guys Thank you.